right guys so it is Sunday the 2nd August 2nd it's like what, almost 9 a.m. somewhere around, somewhere around there. there yeah like 8:50. Um, we just boxed up the car for the second time this is the second trip out and we're gonna go drop off some boxes so So we got that shelf cleared off. We gotta take one down at least so we have some storage space at the other house. Packing the car. Fun stuff. Oodles of fun stuff. Can you grab the trash bags and the emergency kit under it? That way we have that for the house. Alright. Okay. Trip number three. We have two shelving units that we haven't put together yet. A bunch of boxes in the living room. Walk in the kitchen. A couple extra boxes. Some things I need my pantry to put stuff away. Um, we've got some stuff in the cabinets. Not much yet. Plates. Spices, etc., etc. We've got our coffee mugs starting up there. I have two more boxes to bring in, so that whole thing's going to be full of coffee mugs. Um, and we've got our rug down. The fridge has some water bottles in it for now. I'm not quite understanding the little plug right here. <laughs> um, do you notice there's a plug up next to the fridge? <laughs> yeah. Um, other than that, we have really nothing else. Like one box in here and one shelving unit. That's it. Nothing yet. We did our best. My car can only carry but so much. <laughs> Alright guys, so ends the third trip out. Um, as you can see, there's a little blue-tailed skink right there on my porch. He's cute. Uh, so we're going to head out and rest. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, see you in the next clip, I guess. Alright guys, third week, moving week. Um, got the whole car packed best I can with lightweight stuff because my back is still messing up um, after we did the two trips uh, I guess over the weekend it's Wednesday right now um, my back has just basically gone out on me so I'm doing some lightweight lifting um, I'm still trying to get stuff done Michael is off tomorrow through Monday Tuesday I don't know I don't remember He's got a couple of days off, but I wanted to kind of make an extra trip out, sweep the floors a little bit, and um, be as productive as I can. I'm still struggling to box stuff up. Uh, I am home alone, as usual, and I have no help. So, um, yeah, there's only so much I can do. I feel like I'm so far behind. I started packing like a month ago, and I'm I still, the house is not packed up and ready for Saturday. Hopefully we get a lot done in the next two days. Well, Michael gets a lot done in the next two days. I can't do much. All right. So this is my little fairy garden. It's gonna have a view of the front yard, so it's gonna be very green and blue. Um, and my little fairies and my little gnomes, my miniatures, anyway. Uh, since I figured this would be like a cafe sort of room, it'd be kind of cute to have my little coffee things and a little fairy garden. And I got my gnomes on the outside, my bigger gnomes. Whew. Trip four. That's all we've got so far going on. Okay, so I'm exhausted. Um, I think I can only do one trip today. Ain't no way. Um, 
My back is hurting, but I'm taking my meds. This is trip number four out to the house, like officially out to the house to drop stuff off. All right, I gotta bring in like two chairs and then I'm gonna head out and find myself some lunch and head back to the other place and sit in front of the AC with my feet propped up for the rest of the night. The electricity is cut off in here, so I need to do that too. I need to call and cut on the electricity and stuff. So I've been meaning to do that for like a week now and I just haven't. One of the places we have to drive through to get back to the first house, the old house, is called Crew Virginia. And in Crew, they have a lot of trains and even a little kind of train museum sort of thing the end of this road. Look, the guy's got a tank in front of his yard. That is the Gold Star Memorial something. Alright. So give me a second. Okay, so we're coming up on the train museum. I'm going to try and go a little bit slower than 35 miles an hour so you guys can see. that to drive by. Uh, the person you're renting the home from, mm -hmm. um, and ask them for their account number for the address, and then um, either you can do that while I have you on the phone, or you can hang up and call us back with that account number, and we'd be able to find it just like that if we had the previous account holder's account number or their uh, first and last name. Okay. I'll have to send her a message. Okay. Alright, uh, like I said, you can give us a call back once you have that information, or you can get the meter number off of the meter, which you can also get from the person that you are renting from, okay? Okay. Any of those things will help us be able to locate the address. Um, like I said, sometimes there's just spelling issues in the system that we just can't track. Um, and, like, I, I, I've tried to change the spelling of it um, a couple of different ways to see if maybe... You know, they missed a letter in there or, or, or something, something along those lines. Just so, you know, just so I, I've covered as many bases as I can before, you know, you're having to hang up and then call it back. Yeah. All right, I'll shoot her a message. If I don't hear from her until tonight, later, I'll, I guess I'll call you guys in the morning. All right. Um, and uh, if you... Uh, or the easiest thing you can do is, is if um, you know where the property is and it's not too far away from you. I don't know how far it is away from your home. Hour and a half. Kind of living in. <laughs> oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> if it's close, to, you could just drive and take a picture of the meter and then uh, just read us the numbers and we would be able to find it that way. But uh, an hour and a half is a little, a little far. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm sorry I could have been of more help to you, as uh, sometimes, you know, issues have unforeseen issues, and, um... It happens. You've, I, you've been a, a big help. Alright. Alright. Well, we will call you back when we get that information. Alright, ma'am, and I'm sorry for the inconvenience, and I thank you for calling me the energy. Thank you. Of course. Alright, bye. And have a great rest of your day, ma'am, and congratulations on your move. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> so the problems go as follows. Called Dominion Electric Company to transfer my account over. They can't find the address. So they asked for the previous person's account information, which, how am I supposed to get that? Or the meter number, which I can't go get that right now because it's an hour and a half away. So, yeah. So I called a different power company and they emailed me two forms, two of which I have to print off and fill out and then send back with a copy of my lease. And 
some other stuff. They have to run a credit check and all sorts of stuff. And the unfortunate thing about that is, one, I don't have a printer, and two, I don't have a copy of the lease right now because she hasn't sent it. And then we're calling a bunch of internet companies and we've called like four of them now and they say they service the area when you search it online then when you call them to find out you know whatever they offer they don't service that area so I'm getting annoyed big time Okay, so the downside of moving is I don't have any freaking band-aids or anything, so now I have to go to like the Dollar Tree and go get stuff. And my hair looks a mess, and I haven't had a shower, and... <sighs> Alright guys, so we are... What is this, number five? I lost count. I think we're on move five, and it is downpouring. The car is full, so we can't exactly bring anything in until we wait out this downpour. Michael's putting together the table. And we're going to try and organize the best we can while we're here. And hopefully this storm passes so that we can drive back without having to drive through not only storm, but darkness. <laughs> Waiting on my car to defrost. Can't even see how light the sky is. Like, <laughs> it's just dark. Right, U Haul is rented. Um, pick it up in the morning at 9 30 a.m then i get gavin from his grandmother's house and my brother should be here my mom and steve and yeah pack up the truck and the last bit of everything goes which is mostly like the big furniture and you know, the couches the beds etc massive tv <laughs> um we make a trip out today, Friday. We have not heard from a friend that might be able to help us with a night trip, which would be great to do a night trip. I don't know if I can handle two trips today. Um, it looks like it's going to rain, so that's fun. It was not fun driving in the rain last night. Um, so yeah. Gotta load the car up. So this is gonna be the last clip or so for this video. And um, quite honestly, I don't know when the next video is gonna be up because um, apparently we're in a dead zone as far as internet goes and I'm not getting satellite because I'm not paying for it. It's not gonna happen. It's expensive and you don't get anything. And so we need to get that hotspot thing and um, figure out a hotspot service that can play off of like T-Mobile or whatever. I don't know. We have no internet. So just fair warning if we, if my channel disappears for a while we have no internet and we've been fighting with the electric company um, they uh, they quoted me $700 deposit to start the account with them 
and <clears throat> they're going to break it up in three payments of 260 or something like that. And they needed 260 down, I guess, or something. I don't know. I can't do math in my head right now. Um, they wanted 260 down plus 20 to hook up service. I don't. I don't know. Um, or you can pay as you go, which is a hundred and something down, and hookup service fee. And basically, it's like you're prepaying for your electric. I pay like a hundred dollars a month for this place. So if you're putting a hundred and something down credit towards electric, I'm assuming that's a month. I don't know. I don't know. So it's been back and forth for like two days now. Dealing with that. We have to pick up a copy of the lease today. Which we desperately need to get the electric cut on. Um, which is weird because Dominion never asked me for that kind of information and they never charged me that much money to hook up or connect electric. They just were like, yeah, $75 and we'll be there on whatever day. So this little company is robbing people blind, apparently. Um, yeah, so a lot of stuff is very limited uh, in the country. So, just FYI, if you plan to move to the country, do a lot of research. We called, I don't even know, we, we called three different electric companies, like ten different internet places, two of them, three of them are satellite, I think. The quotes that we got for the satellite were outrageous, and anything that was landline, um or whatever, they, they didn't provide to our area. So I had to go on um, a Facebook group page for that area and be like, so what does everybody else have? Because we don't know. And we were told basically, you need the hotspot thing and to hotspot your cellular service in order to get internet. And there's a lot of people that have that are in, literally on my road um, that commented and said the same thing. So we're looking into that. But that's going to cost upwards of three, four hundred dollars, maybe more. Alright, so our first meal at the house is going to be fish and veggies. I grabbed some nacho rings and some spicy chicharrones and yeah all right so pots and pans and baking stuff in there so far I've also got some over here in my temporary pantry we'll be moving the whole pantry shelf over hopefully tonight cups at the top so far extra stuff for pantry baking stuff which I don't think is going to stay down there because honestly I can't bend over to pick up stuff like that so I don't really want anything in the bottom cabinets unless it's cleaning supplies <sighs> plates bowls easy cups for the kids um, plastic tub to put random stuff in if we need it right here we've got regular silverware um, can openers measuring utensils here we have the red silverware, which usually the kids kind of use more than anything. And the start of my knives. I'm going to try and put all my knives here. Um, if I can't get a decent rack or something. Uh, we've got my coffee stuff going. Some little decor. Uh, I got one runner here. I'm going to have another runner um, for the coffee pot itself because it catches spills pretty good. The usual trash bags there. My stuff there. I need to wash that. Uh, drink stuff. 
stuff in the fridge, pile of boxes that are empty that need to go, pile of trash needs to go. Michael's in here building shelves and sweating because it's hot. <laughs> right. Um, Christmas supplies so far um, and random bathroom stuff. I'm trying to move stuff up. That way it's reachable. Put towels and stuff here. And I have nothing in the drawers. A couple of things on the top here. Um, those are drying because yesterday it rained and we used those in front of the doorways because um, we were tracking in water. <laughs> uh, shelving unit for Gavin so far. Not sure where to put it. Tempted to put it in that corner over there. Um, it all depends on how he wants to set up his TV. If he's putting on his dresser, we can put the dresser there and the shelving thing there, which would be a good idea um, because it would be easier to get to the panel. So that shelving thing can go there. Probably cat cornered. Uh, so that's what we have in Gavin's room so far. Zane's room, I need to put together his little tower because he usually puts his clothes in that. He doesn't use his dresser. He uses his dresser as storage. And this is what we have so far in our room. Yep, my lonely fairy over there. Alrighty, that's what we have so far. We're on trip number seven. I don't know, I'm sweating. I, am I need to sit down and drink some cold water. Yes, sit. Alright, so we have now made our what, eighth trip. Um, we brought the futon and we've got this organized over here with my little gnomes and fairies all along here. We've even got some over here. And we've got our books set up and our little knickknacks, the snakes, a bunch of random boxes we haven't really gone through yet. And then in here, I've set up the pantry and took down the temporary pantry that we had this morning. I have a ton of extra boxes, random chair, um, but I have like these little square units. So I'm going to put those right here. Stop, 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 stop. All right. Tell me, tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.